on their minds mm -hmm. for sure. And if you're prepping the car, make sure the wipers are good to go because mm -hmm. you will need them if you're traveling tomorrow, Sunday or Monday on the return trip. A lot of rain expected in South Texas. Beautiful looking sky from our Lex Cam pointed to the west uh, earlier. That's where that storm was south of Robstown. We had a good uh, line of sight on it. 91 degrees outside east to southeast wind 15 miles per hour feels like 104 with all that humidity in place. Uh, you'll see this storm that was south of Robstown pop up on the sea breeze right there and then fade away near Alice right now. Just some stray showers. The coverage going to continue to drop tonight and the rain and energy we're going to be watching is up to the north still. Uh, there are some showers and storms near DFW, uh, but the energy associated with tomorrow's rain, you see this little flare up in activity on the water vapor. That energy is going to sag to the south. This is upper level energy that's going to be in place Sunday and Monday, maybe a little farther north on Monday, but all of that lift in the atmosphere is going to interact with a lot of tropical moisture. These deep greens representing very humid air. So we've got the lift. We've got the moisture and we're going to have a stationary front, which is going to combine to give us this unsettled weather setup this weekend. This weather uh, center, the weather prediction center, WPC has put all of South Central Texas under a slight risk for flooding, not only Saturday, but Sunday too. So we got to think, you know, when these storms start to pop up, they're going to have a lot of moisture in them and the ground is already a little bit saturated over the last month, getting about a foot of rain. So, uh, you know, there's going to be a flood risk out there if you're traveling around with those rain chances trending up Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The rain, the best chance is going to be during the daytime hours. We're looking at widespread activity during the daytime, a little less coverage overnight, uh, but right on through the Labor Day weekend, we are going to be looking at some substantial rain in the area. One to three inches of rain across the coastal bend. This is through Labor Day. As we head into the middle of next week, the five day outlook, we're going to add on to that three to five inches total throughout the area through Wednesday. So this is going to be unsettled weather for us. Again, that flood risk will be in place. Wouldn't be surprised to see some flash flood watches issued preemptively heading into the weekend. Football tonight is going to be fine. It'll be very humid and warm, but rain free. The rain starts to pick up Saturday morning. We're looking at these showers and storms giving us downpours of heavy rain and the rain's going to be with us throughout the day on Saturday. There will be some breaks, so it's not going to be just a constant rain. You'll have some time a few hours between showers and storms, but it's going to stay unsettled throughout the day. So five o'clock tomorrow, quieter overnight, and then we see those showers and storms pick back up here on Sunday and that'll continue into Monday. So we we're talking about the grilling uh, and how the showers and storms are going to be moving in. If you're just trying to get out 30 minutes to an hour, you'll be able to find some breaks in the rain for burgers, hot dogs or steaks. But if you're doing long term cooks, briskets, ribs, pork four plus hours, that's when you're probably going to have some showers and storms uh, kind of a part of your grilling process. So if you're covered, you're good, but if it's exposed, you're going to have some rain to deal with. 78 tonight, partly cloudy, ultra humid and a light easterly breeze under 10 miles per hour. Saturday, 86 showers and storms. 80, I was talking restaurant lingo there. 86 means you're not going to have them, but we are going to have showers and storms this weekend. Saturday flooding possible east breeze 6 to 12 miles per hour. We stay unsettled not only through Labor Day, but into the mid parts of next week. It may not be till Thursday and Friday that we start to tar start to stop talking about the rain. Tongue tire there to finish off the weather cast there, Mike. All right, thank you.